What is going on, guys? My name is John Beck, and from Mom Reviews here with another episode of Reaction to Promise of Land. This is episode two of the second season. I'm basically going to go jump right into this after I just talk about really, really uh, recap the first episode. So first episode back, it's been a year, and it was a good reintroduction episode, I feel like. We had some new characters, and I just realized that the character introduced the girl, um, who was one of the other, like, those alien things. We still don't really are the demon things. They that that girl is also on the poster of the promotional art, which I actually didn't see until rather recently. I tried to tend to stay away from anything if I've never seen the original series. I tend to stay away from everything as much as possible just due to going into it completely blind has always been something I've always strived for and something I've always enjoyed more than anything. And I've been basically kept completely blind to this entire ordeal. Like I said, probably the most things I know is that the show ended and that there's a really good arc later on that's about as much as i know i don't know whether who dies who lives um I, i'm basically left in the dark and i i think i enjoy the show much more because of that um and instead absolutely uh subconsciously comparing it to the original source material which i have done before when i've seen the original source material from anime adaptations but enough of that i'm going to jump into this episode reaction so guys without further ado let us jump in to season two episode two of the promise of land starting in three two one let's jam All right, hoping this is going to be a really good episode. Of seeing to figure out out. I'm hoping we figure out who, who the uh, these new girls, uh, these new characters are. <laughs> I wanted just to pay really pay attention to the opening. I, I this is my second time seeing. It. I saw it the first time, I believe, uh, first episode. Still curious about these new characters. Like, who are they? I'm just maybe just a faction that's not really with the others. Interesting, they're letting them go. Oh, they're all safe at least. I mean, I expected that, but... I just realized I have six fingers. Oh. 
I can understand them being completely just... I mean, you never know that. I could definitely see them be a very, uh... Skeptical. Pray. Blessing the food. Yep. They realize how hungry they are. Sustained guard. Yep. Seems like it. Wonder why they don't show their eyes. Agreed. Ah, okay. That makes that makes sense. Yeah, easily. Mm, okay, so they're not just actively out. Which, I mean, kind of makes sense, but... Good lore building. This is what, this was always a big, um, question. Has it been more than that? Mm. Then what year is it actually? Okay. This is all just like really like big lore explanations and building so like I'm totally down for this. Oh. So there's a human side? Uh, wait, what? A thousand years? Holy shit. Okay.
you're never the humans that are born I do like how the other girls also listening in. I wonder if they're also putting on an act. It's underneath. Seems like she's putting on this fake, this fake smile. Yeah, we knew that. There, there's multiple farms. She's also keeping all their hopes up, too. They're going to travel with them? Interesting. Learning survival techniques. I could. Good for you, Gilda. <laughs> oh my gosh, those eyes. <laughs> <laughs> the older guys are getting um scolded at by the younger youngsters. <laughs> Good little light art in this. Good. I 
I mean, I can easily say Gilda, but Don seems more of a uh, person keeping to himself. This is definitely more of a uh, setup episode. I can feel like um, it, it's going to end. It's going to end on a big reveal. I kind of feel like the way that ju the, the way this is just progressing. It just reminds her of a. Yeah. I wonder if we're going to get a shot of back to Isabella with the rest of them and Phil. I don't know if I said that last time. There's got to be something in it for these demons. Unless they're just naturally being nice. But, like I said, I have a lot of... I've always had skepticism. Is that right? Emma. Take me with you. Interesting. I wonder if they, they're going to be able to smell them. Or maybe that cloak wrapped around her is hiding her scent. Weevil? Hmm. Ask something in particular. Had a fight. Hmm. That way she's just more useful as a person, too. Is that a vulture? Right in the eye. Are they going to just show it? Oh, okay. Oh, it's that flower. Hmm. 
just like we saw with the uh, other. Yeah. Really loving the cinematography in this one. Really good cinematography for this episode. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen it. I just love it. Oh, I all knew about... S oh, God. Oh, don't tell me that's what... <sighs> so, interesting enough, like, this is definitely more of a set-up episode. Absolutely. Yeah, com really definitely a uh, set-up episode more than anything. I don't think we're getting an ending scene. Just out of curiosity. No, I don't think we're getting an ending scene. Just really quick, I just want to check. Okay, yeah, no ending scene. Yeah, you know, okay, so this was a solid episode. Um, really good for Emma to just realize some things. I think that was definitely the biggest take away from this one um just also get some closure and some realization to a lot of things like the whole that whole flower thing was is a really symbolic and they, they made it really symbolic in the first episode and i'm assuming it's going to be very symbolic as a as a whole for the series and it was just a really interesting thing about the whole uh lore about the whole situation with that flower and how they treated the livestock for lack of a better word. Um, but yeah, this was a very solid episode. Um, but I can definitely see some people consider this as a boring episode because, yeah, well, sure, it wasn't action-based, but again, that's not what the series has been about. It's not about the action. It's about all the stuff that happens in the background and all the um, conflict mostly happens on a ground level in a different way. And for this one, I think this was a very, very, a very appropriate episode. Uh, for this series, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. I love the cinematography during a lot of the scenes, especially when uh, Emma was out with Soju. So yeah, I was I, I was pleasantly surprised. But anyways, I'm gonna go wrap this uh, this video up. I got a couple more shows I need to react to, so look forward to that really soon. But uh, let me know what you guys thought in the comment section below of what you thought about this episode. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. See ya.